हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल माई नेम इज उमा एंड येस आई एम हेयर विथ अ डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन टूडे बिफोर मूविंग ऑन टू द क्वेश्चन लेट मी आस्क यू गाइज हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू फेस्ड प्रॉब्लम और ट्रबल सॉल्विंग दिस क्वेश्चन यू नो आई एल बी द फर्स्ट पर्सन टू रेज माई हैंड आई वॉज आज दिस क्वेश्चन इन इंटरव्यू टूडे आई वॉज अनेबल टू सॉल्व कम्प्लीटली यू नो एंड आई डोंट नो वर्स गो हैपन I came back home and I started looking for solutions for this uh, question, but I couldn't find a proper solution, Java solution uh, online. So, with the help of other resources, I could gather a little information and I designed a solution for this question. So, I thought of uh, sharing it with you guys, uh, a piece of help from my side. Uh, I would like to, uh, you know, share, spread knowledge that I have. Uh, yes, let us quickly jump into the question. uh the question is a uh, friend circles question 547th question as you can see it's from leet code it's a medium range question it's um, uh, it's uh, microsoft uh, linkedin and it's a very important question you get you find uh, questions of these kind generally in uh, interviews that are of i mean a higher level so you can quickly pause this video and read the question or if you Uh, already know the question then let me quickly jump into the idea and the way to solve it okay so here i am given in uh, you know mattress 2 by 2 2 uh, by 2 uh, mattress that is in a two dimensional mattress with ones and zeros so it means uh, this is the first zero uh, first person second person and third person each array represents each person and one represents uh, that person is a friend to that uh, you know index for example here 1 is 0 0 which means 1 uh, is uh, person 0 is a friend of person 0 then coming to 1 uh, which is here which it is 0 1 which means a person 0 is a friend with person 1 and similarly you can just uh, you know calculate what is this all about so the solution what are we supposed to give uh, the output should be uh you know uh, the total number of uh, friend circles uh, that a person uh, that a particular group of friends are having for example this is person 0 this represents person 1 this represents person 2 similarly if you have the columns this represents person 0 this is very important this represents person 1 and this represents person 2 so one uh, let us ignore uh, you know self uh, friendship for example a person is friend with himself or herself let's ignore that for a while and then just move from here it is 0 1 which means a person 0 uh, is a friend with person 1 and there is uh, he is not he is not friend with 2 similarly person 1 is a friend with person 0 which means uh, a particular circle uh, consists of person 0 and person 1 now let's move on to the person 2 but this person this person 2 is not friend with 0 and 1 so he is he belongs to a separate circle he doesn't involve in 0 comma 1 circle so now the total uh, uh, output uh, here is 2 that is there are two friend circles now let me explain it to you with uh, another example here so i have taken this array uh, for this array uh, we we find this as a 0 person 0 person 1 2 and 3 now the answer to this question let's compute once again so that will be a little more clearer so and let's ignore 00 uh, this is his person 0 is a friend with 1 and person 0 is a friend with 3 and 1 is with already a friend with 1 so and 3 is a friend with 1 so uh, you know 1 2 sorry 0 1 and 3 are one group and the remaining one is 2 so 2 is another group so the output for this question should be 2 now let's move on to the solution and the idea that i'm having to solve this question so the idea is i'm going to take a uh, a boolean uh, array of zeros uh, which is of length you know n uh, and one and we need to be very clear this is an n by n matrix guys don't get confused it's not a a uh, rectangular or other kind of matrix a square matrix so how many because obviously you know there are four pe- people here and we need to represent the relationship between uh, those people uh, with themselves so it is 4 by 4 or n by n matrix so yes now i am going to take a take an array 
let let me just write down indices okay now as there are four people here we'll have four indices so this is a boolean array now what i'm going to do is i'm going to first compute uh, take a person zero into consideration and check check how many friends does he have okay so i'll move on to the zero i'll just put the visitor of zero as true because i'm computing it for zero which means i'm uh, you know the i'm already checking for person zero it is over or it is about to get finished now coming to the person zero uh, i'll send zero to a helper class helper method and then i'm going to compute the friendship of that zero for example i'm sending zero to to one method and that method does uh, or uh, it checks the friends friends of that zero you are sending zero so it will it will send it will check 00 01 02 and 03 that is it will check this 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 person and this person so it will it will do the dfs okay i'll explain it to you how now it goes uh, i am giving zero and uh, it doesn't check this because zero comma zero i am not going to check that and then it checks one okay so it means uh, you know that zero person is a friend with one so if we are computing so one is already uh, we are visiting one now so that's why i'm putting true in in index one now again we are checking for one now for one we are uh, zero it's already there it's already true so i'm not checking that one comma one i'm not checking that and other zero other other two elements are zeros so it means that this person is not a friend with anyone else other than zero i'll go back to the uh, you know main loop and then i'll start computing two now this two person uh, is already is zero so we are not supposed to do that okay we are going to check only uh, we are going to do a depth wise traversal Uh, of that of a friend of that person itself we are not going with to some other someone somebody else and now we we are going to three okay and third person is uh, is is a friend with zero eighth person so i'm going i'm going to mark third as visited okay now after third is visited i'm going to check for thir third person now three is actually friend with zero but zero is already uh, true here i'm not going to touch that and then he's going to 3 comma 3 i'm not going to check that so what happened here is we are going to we are going to have this index and only 2 is left in this index okay so before all this this is all happening in circle 1 okay this this particular circle consists of 0 1 and 3 now coming to the next circle which is the second circle will have the same uh, set of visited we shouldn't uh, remove these because there is no use if you remove these okay you need to make sure all these come to come to true now we go to the next so that this is the main loop which does uh, for zero now we are coming for the second loop i is equals to 1 for i is equals to 0 this is the answer for i is equals to 1 let's move on but i is equals to 1 it's already true i'm not going to check that because it's it's useless i've already done that uh, depth first search for the first uh, person it's already over in it is covered in person 0 so i'll go to uh, the person 2 the person 2 is not covered so i'm making the person 2 as true so if the person true is 2 uh, is true i'm going to check what is happening in person 2 yes but the person 2 is not you know having any friend so now uh, i'm not going to traverse so there is no D dfs happening in this point it again goes back to the main loop and then mm, it checks for third person in the third person uh, uh, you know it's he's already covered so the the loop ends and the total number of circles are two so this is how it happens guys you can uh, i'll write the code maybe you can understand a little more if i write the code okay uh, yes now what did i say i told i'm going to take a boolean array which is called visited uh, and since it is a n by n matrix uh, i'm not worried about the row or column both are same now what i'm going to do is uh, before that i'm going to type the you know the result okay let's be the circle okay oh i'm going to take it zero okay now i'm going to have 
uh, i is equals to zero i less than m dot length i plus plus okay so uh, now i'm iterating over the mm, over this loop let me have this example oh i don't know okay uh, so the first uh, person that i'm going to check is zero so i'm going to check whether that person is not visited if he is not visited then i'm going to increment the circle and then i'm going to call a helper dfs function that is going to do a depth first search for this particular uh, row so i'm going to name that dfs find friend dfs method okay in that find friend dfs i'm going to have uh yeah i need to have m i need to have visited and i need to send i okay because visited is something that you need to check you need to have uh, you know it needs to be there all the time m is the matrix that should be there and i is the row because you are going to compute the dfs from that particular row, row so it is uh, important to have that coming to it's a it's a void function uh, guys so find friend dfs sorry int m and then you'll have a uh, boolean visited sorry this should be an array okay and then you'll have uh, an index okay now for this particular index we are going to compute and see we are going to have this is only the row now for that particular row we need to have you know we need to search for each and every column so that's why we are going to iterate from i is equals to 0 i less than m dot l length so this is nothing but the column not the row okay this is this is the row and this is the column for against that particular row now what we are going to check is if if that particular i or that particular uh, you know column is not visited and you know this index should not be equals to i okay we are not going to check uh, if a friend if a person is a friend with himself or herself okay and uh, anything else to be done here i think we are good to go mm, and yeah okay and the the very important thing is we are going to check whether you know index is the row i is the column and it should be equal to 1 because only then we are going to find out the dfs that is how dfs works so if it is uh, we need to first make the visited of i as true and we need to uh, okay so we need to first uh, is so visited you are converting it to true and and after that we need to check we need to do a recursive call here m visit it and you need to do the recursive co call of this particular i for example here we are passing 0 for example index is 0 we are going to compute 0 0 it's not allowed here because it fails here 0 comma 1 that is this particular value will be allowed here and in that 0 comma 1 will make that 1 as uh, true because person 1 is visited and then we are going to compute the friends of 1 that is 0 is calling 1 1 is calling uh, the other friends so like that this dfs works and then ultimately this visited gets filled up and uh, the circle gets incremented always so this is how uh, this uh, you know the solution is supposed to be written i'll just try to i hope i didn't miss anything i just try to run this code and check if there are any compilation uh, errors okay there is one compilation what is this cannot find symbol what did i write mm. variable visited what did i write Oh ho! Oh, oh my God, this looks same. <laughs> the spellings are too confusing. Uh, 
okay so this is accepted let me submit this okay guys so this is how uh, we are supposed to do this uh, problem so i hope you guys uh, liked my video if uh, if you face problem then try to debug this uh, code then you will get a clear idea what is going on in this problem if you like my video please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the like button so that you know that will help me grow uh, thank you so much uh, for watching have a nice day